Hello again everybody, this is Mad King Corduroy with another video for you. Today I'll be looking at a Packard Bell 5131C keyboard. Now a lot of you people know that these rubber dome keyboards are nothing special and came with most, you know, low-end Packards of the 90s. But I've been seeing on the internet and on eBay especially these keyboards attempting to be sold for $20 as mechanical clicky keyboards. And I'll show you why a lot of people are making this mistake. Um, it feels different to the touch. It is a lot more tactile than a normal rubber dome keyboard, which kind of has a mushy feel and you kind of have to bottom it out to get any kind of reaction. These, however, have a nice clicky sound and they produce letters fairly quickly and you don't have to really bang on it. When you look at the key underneath it fools a lot of people because as you're about to see it looks like it would fit a cherry switch. Uh, that's a bit odd for a rubber dome keyboard isn't it? Turns out that it uses a plunger to activate the rubber part and push down on make a connection on a printed circuit board that's underneath all of this. This thing actually uses a printed circuit board rather than a membrane like on modern USB keyboards and a lot of the cheaper PS2 keyboards of the late 90s and early 2000s. So this keyboard is a little odd in that sense and you could see why a lot of people would make that mistake. Mine is probably from the late 90s since it goes with the 1996 Packard Bell Platinum 55 I have and those model designer towers series. As to the features I like about this keyboard, in addition to its clickiness and uh, rapid response, the enter key is full size. Now I grew up using keyboards like this where the full size enter key was present unlike these later keyboards where you have a little key like this big or one this big and you miss this whole top part well having a big fat enter key is really nice for when you're entering data or doing something else all in all i'd say these are nice little keyboards and if you definitely want something to beat on that's not a mechanical keyboard this should be your choice if you have one available but <laughs> Do I recommend paying $22 like are advertised on the internet? No, that's ridiculous. This is a rubber dome keyboard for God's sakes. It's not mechanical. There's no reason to pay that much. So, uh, despite its age and beautiful design with the lovely pencil holder on the top, there really is no reason to pay that. I'm Mad King Corduroy and this is Transcendental Airwaves. So, tune in again for more videos concerning computers, music, typewriters or other things. Thank you for watching.